So you guys were one. I'm hearing all you guys. You guys were one of the theme song shortened. So here we go. This girl reviews movies, games, and books. Sometimes she plays them. So does that. And when she does it with the cat, does that make her crazy? Does that make her crazy? Probably. <laughs> so, it's shorter. There you go. <laughs> Crazy Cat Lady Gamer Reviewer, or Martha Butler, does not own the any trailers or pictures. I use them under fair use. Educational for edu and entertainment purposes. Hi, your buddy Martha here. So today we are doing episode one of Star Girl. So I got to watch it on DC Universe. I didn't even watch it yesterday because I couldn't get my TV to work. So I can use my computer today instead. Darn you, smart TV. <laughs> anyway, this was a pretty good episode. I would say that since compared to like, I know this is technically not part of the Arrowverse, but technically it is. It's not because it's on Earth Prime, it's on Earth 2. They probably never will have a crossover um, with the other shows. So, even though this, both, this is on both on C, on, on CD Universe and on CW, you can watch it on both. You are able to. I just couldn't. So. Yeah, but this is called, and they, they had their own verse, their, uh, their own version of um, Justice Society on Arrowverse, but they were older, and I'm pretty sure they were different characters. So, but these aren't them. If anything, these are their kids, if any at all, but it's, but not all of them were in that version that was on here. So, right now we're going to talk about Stargirl. And her name is her name is Courtney, and she just moved to a new town called Blue Valley with um, her stepdad, her mom, and her little brother. And she go she starts and she um typical girl girl mad at her stepdad for making her move to a new town to invite her friends. And she um is not talking to him, and because. She, even though her dad wasn't that much there for her in her life, she doesn't want to admit that she likes this new guy. I guess the way she's acting, and she's giving a hard giving him a hard time. So she goes to a new school. Has to do with bullies. Has to do with um, girls asking her to join cheerleading squad if she says no because she knows gymnastics, and they apparently know her phone number. What? Um. And she she has to sit in on a table that is basically um, has I'm pretty sure when you look at the poster of the of, of this show that these these characters that are sitting like there's four of them there's three of them besides her there was a guy a girl and a black and a and black girl I think the black girl the name was Beth um, the other two didn't really talk to her. One was um, being bullied by a um, bunch of guys calling her a slut. Typical on one slut the table because um, meet saying because um, Beth said that it was a loser's table. I'm like, yeah, sure, <laughs> whatever. And she um, one of the guys tried to take away um, Courtney's cell phone for sticking up for the girl who got called a slut, and she um, punched him and like pushed him into like was it food. So she's still listening to her cell phone back and got sent to detention. So, what was she supposed to do? Let the guy have her cell phone? And she ends up um, going home and her de her brothers had a better day than her. Typical. And she, go she gets really mad and goes downstairs. Pat was down there earlier looking at the bunch of pictures of um, if he's um, striped C or something like that. Um, Starman's psychic, even though he's older than her, even though he's older than him, um, and re reminiscing on um, old times, and looking at the um, the villains, and we got to see um, um a lot of them die in the first scene, 
we did not get to see Flash or um, Green Lantern. We saw um, Green Lantern's helmet, that's um, Jake Garrett's helmet, which is not, as far as I know, not the same one that's in Flash. So, we didn't get to see their bodies, so we just saw his helmet. And, um, she goes down there because she's angry, and she see, she finds the pictures because she saw um, Pat holding two fishies and realized there's a picture behind it, and saw there was a Justice Society picture right there of everybody, and she starts to hear um, the crate that has the staff in it, um, that was Starman staff shaking because it wants to it, she, it knows that its new owner is her and it and it starts playing with her and takes her out and starts going outside because it has a mind of its own and I like the effect on this one and the staff is really good they don't look um, bad um, CDI or anything like that it looks pretty good and um, she started doing gymnastics on it and stuff like that. But then it took her to, then they went to an um an out to our theater. Uh, you don't know when this play this takes place. Like there's smartphones and there's actually an outdoor theater, and it keeps on playing like old music, like music from the 50s and 60s. Like when does this take place? <laughs> so. And they're watching an old movie, and um, the guys who were being bullies earlier were being bullies to somebody else, and a guy yelled in the background, like, Shut up! We're trying to watch a watch movie! This is a classic! And they go, like, Oh, you're trying to watch the movie, and start bugging them. And the Courtney thought this would be a good idea, so she grabs the bandana that she randomly has and ties it around her head. And goes and starts flattening the bully's tires <laughs> and the staff sides and then they like realize what are you doing my car basically and they um go and talk to her they go and um start find a uh, fight with her and they don't know and they can't recognize her it's dark and she has a bandana so and the staff blows up his car and he, d he says the typical line is my dad's gonna kill me <laughs> so and he goes, she goes back home, Pat's there's waiting for her. Where have you been, young lady? So, um, she explains to him, and, um, they explain to her everything about what happened. Like, um, you know, the slime spice car, the staff tried, the staff blew it up, not me, the staff did. <laughs> and, um, Pat, and Courtney starts to think that Starman was her dad. I'm guessing since she was only 10 years old when, or younger, at least, uh, uh, like, uh, like, um, she's at least 16 here, so she's probably like 6 here, so, she probably doesn't know what her dad looks like, so she does have some, like, a little, um, locket that she's trying to compare the pictures to, Starman, so she starts thinking maybe Starman was my dad, because if the sap works for me, maybe it work for my father. And he's trying to tell her no because your dad's name was headed her name and him and he was an alias. And she tries to start to ask her mom about it, but her mom does not know anything about it. So she goes to bed and the staff comes and talks to, comes to talk to her before this, um the bull legal talks to his dad and says, I'm sorry, um somebody blew up your car I'm like, I don't care about that. I want to hear about the staff! <laughs> and we realize that his dad is, um, Brainwave, one of the villains that was, the ones, like, that, um, was there the night that, um, Starman died and the rest of the Justice Society. And, he hauls, um, I think it's Ice, Ice, um, Ice Glen? Not sure. I know something has something to do with Ice. And, he tells him not to do anything, but, typical bad guy. He does something because Courtney gets bugged in the middle of the night by the staff to tell him let's go practice and wakes her up and she, um, she tries to do some gymnastic work with it and flying around with it, fooling around and it and Brainway starts throwing tires at her 
and messing with her mind and says, You feel lonely. Yada yada yada. <laughs> but, and why are you thinking when you're dead? <laughs> so, but she was able to, she was able to like, flash the, the staff at her, at him. And the episode ends with a big robot that looks pretty good too. It, good CGI work on that one. And Pat's like, Where are you? I told you not to play with the staff! And that's how the episode ends. Like, no, I want more! I have to wait till next week! Like, I already know because I heard like people who have way more connections better than me who have already seen the first three episodes. But, so, I'm listening to this one. Wait, wait, no, wait! Darn you! So, hopefully my TV better working then. So is that app on my TV that does not work, but um, this was a pretty good first episode. It definitely got my my attention a lot better so far. I would say this is a lot better than Batwoman's first episode. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna give this episode a um, I mean it has a lot of um like ET feel because of the fact that she has to have to hide the staff from her mom and her and and. Her, her set that already knows about it, so yeah. So, I'll get it a, a um, 10 out of 10. Dolly! And what do you give, Dolly? I give it a flip and my tail! So, bye bye, guys. Like, favorite, and subscribe.